My God, the NBA season's about to tip off tonight. So, with college football week nine's about to get underway, too. We've got you covered in both here on the morning wager. The man, the myth, the legend, Mark Zinno, the guy who has been carrying me now for over a week uh, in the double play segment uh, of the program, uh, which I think I am now going to call fade and follow because if you fade me and follow Mark, you'd be 12 and all the last six days in this segment that's coming up. And and today, Mark, we always throw the people a curveball, right? Always try to keep them guessing. I believe, yes. and we can check the records on this, this is our first cross-sport double play. I will be talking college football momentarily as Conference USA gets uh, going with its fine weekday slate. But you will be giving out the first NBA play of the season on the morning wager. Of course, you uh, are going to shoehorn New York into the program. The Knicks at the Celtics. Battle of Eastern Conference powerhouses. Who are you taking? I didn't really feel that praise was effusive. I got to be honest with you. I, I, I felt you, you, were, you didn't clear the effusive bar. You're effusive. I'm sorry. No, I'm I'll try better There's next time. Yes. Okay. I mean, you know, I would like a little bit of a better effort here. This is a team effort. Okay. Okay. I understand. I've been carrying you as of late, but I would, I would yes. like just, you know, I'd like your A game to show up just, just for one second here, you know, at least okay. hold up that okay. end I'm of gonna, the bar. I, I'll try. I'll try. I, yeah, I've got, what, three minutes here to get it together? I'll get it yes. together while you talk Nick Celtics here for the people. Really? The NBA starting tonight? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even aware of that. Okay. There you go. Um, it's interesting. I'm going to use a, a old time tested sort of handicapping strategy here when looking at this, um, because here's what's kind of gone on in this game, or at least the way it's been laid out, right? Um, the Boston Celtics opened up as a five point favorite. They're all, already taking money today. Uh, it's coming up to six. I would expect this to go even more in favor of the Boston Celtics uh, and get the number bigger and bigger. I don't know if it'll get all the way to seven, which for what it's worth is a key total in, in NBA circles. But um, yeah, I would wait to make this wager because here's the thing. What is Boston doing tonight in game one? It's all pregame celebration. It's all pat each other on the back. It's all pomp and circumstance. For the open, because we got to drop banners, we got to hand out rings, we got to celebrate, we got to do everything else. And then, oh, by the way, yeah, there happens to be a game to play. We see this, the same thing with the NFL, when the NFL team who is hanging their Super Bowl banner and everything, they never cover that first opening game because they spent the first hour there focusing on themselves and everything that they did in the past. And the other team, guess what? They're focusing on playing a game, in this case, a basketball game. This is obviously personal to the Knicks. Um, they are chasing the Boston Celtics. They'd like to make a statement right from the get-go. Not only that, Carl Anthony Towns' first game in a Knicks uniform. I know the Knicks are a little banged up. No precious Achua. Precious Achua? No precious Achua. Uh, and no great. Mitchell Robinson. Both of them are out, which kind of makes their bench a little bit shorter. Um, but in theory, after the move for Carl Anthony Towns, the Knicks have better shooting. All around. Um, no more Julius Randle chucking up 17 threes a night, which I won't miss. Um, like Randle, but I won't miss that. And Carl Anthony Town should be a big guy inside here and should be able to dominate in the middle. Uh, so I like the Knicks here. I'll take the points. I'll wait till we get closer. Give me the six right now, you know, as it, as it stands. But I'll wait till we get closer to tip here to take this thing, hopefully get a six and a half. But again, I, I don't know that Boston's really going to come out firing on all cylinders, especially when their head coach, Joe Missoula, said there's no pressure because we're all going to die someday. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for that lovely bit of information. Um, that would be effusive praise to people who are dead because we're all going to die someday. But anyway, NBA night opener, Knicks plus six. Let's go. I liked that quote from head coach Missoula, and I love that breakdown, Mark, from you. That, Just so that eloquent. That is a Brian so Power philosophy of life. Like, yes. hey, it doesn't matter. We're all going to die someday. Well, why should I eat healthy? You know? Fair we're point. all going to die, you know? You know, well, let me tell you about the healthiest guy I know, Mark. Me? Hit by a bus. No, he was oh. hit by a bus. That's, really? that's not true. That, that's the first, no, oh. that's the first time I've ever told a lie on wagertalk.com. All Sound right. Like Virginia anyway, from yes. Anyway, uh, let me talk college football. By the way, smash that like button if you're rolling with Zinno and his New York Knicks. God, Knicks. No. 
or do they don't they don't say that they don't say that yeah. okay i won't do that anymore right. okay yeah. uh well, how about how about duh utep and duh louisiana tech uh, wow, is this a game only for the betters here on the Tuesday night college football slate, Mark? Uh, I'm going to look at the under 50. UTEP's offense, they struggle to finish drives, and I don't think they're going to find a lot of success running the ball. Louisiana Tech's defense, we faded Louisiana Tech last week, remember, Mark, on the show with the best bet. I'll, I'll bring that up here again in a second. But the Bulldogs' defense is surprisingly top 20 in the country in terms of yards per play allowed. Would not have guessed that, but it is true. Now, the Miners of UTEP, they scored 30 last week. First win of the season, they beat FIU. But prior to that, UTEP had not scored more than 21 against any FBS opponent this season. How did UTEP get to 30 last week? Well, it was FIU vomiting all over themselves, turning the ball over four times. Two touchdown drives for UTEP were 42 yards or less. I think one was 10 yards. They had two field goal drives of 22 yards or less. So if Louisiana Tech could protect the football here on Tuesday, I think UTEP's going to struggle to score. Now, again, we faded Louisiana Tech last week. Why? Because they were road favorites. They're now 0-8, not only ATS, but straight up the last eight times they've been a road favorite. Tonight, they're home favorites. And we should point out the outright loss at New Mexico State last week, Mark, 33-30. to That game went to double overtime. It was 24-24 at the end of regulation. So a somewhat misleading number of total points scored in that contest. I do not like uh, either of these offenses. UTEP can't really pass. UTEP, or, and Louisiana Tech has gone over 24 in regulation against just one FBS opponent. So I was not a math major at Ohio University. I was a pre-law major. Some, some good that did me. But if neither team scores over 24... I think under 50 is in good shape. So that's the way I will go for my half of the double play in this fine Tuesday Conference USA matchup. Boy, if you're sitting down watching college football tonight, I'm going to pray for you. This is ugly. Who the hell wants to watch this? I mean, I mean, it it takes a special kind of loser to break down a UTEP Louisiana Tech game the way you just did. I just want you to know that. I mean, you did it That's well. I didn't get anything away from the handicap, but like, my God, get a life. Don't you have anything better to the do minors, on Tuesday? Minor nation. Well, look, ding, there was ding, four ding, games ding, to pick from. Ding, yes, ding, 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 ding. ding. I would ding, not have been a good minor, for the record. No, you don't like small enclosed places. You don't like dust and dirt. Um, and anything that requires physical manual labor is against uh, every part of your soul. So, yeah, no, you don't. I mean, you would not have been a good I- minor. Lifted the laptop open this morning. That's about as much physical I mean, labor as you're getting yeah. from me. You ate a rally burger the other night. I mean, that that's also yeah. a big part. Of, you Didn't know. help. Didn't no, help. Did. Juan Soto. Juan Soto hit a home run right in front of my face. Hit me in the head. Yeah. Actually, hit me in the head. Um, hey, can I just drop a quick little note here for the viewing audience? Because I feel like telling everybody this. I'm excited about okay, this. Sure. Both, okay, sure. Both of you course you can because you are carrying the morning wager. You are the you are the star of this show. Uh, and Thank quite you. frankly, one of the finest human beings uh, walking the streets of the United States of America on Tuesday, October 22nd. Yes. Thank you very much for the effusive praise. Uh, and I'm only going to say this once and I'm not going to bring it up again. But you, both you and our producer, Dan Alexander, were sort of apoplectic. You know what I did this morning before the show went on the air? I went I to the sports book and I made a small little wager on the Los Angeles Chargers to win the division at plus 1,400. I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Wow. And I waited specifically for today because I knew they were going to lose last night as our Cardinals bet cashed for those of you who bought the package yesterday. I think there was only two of you poor bastards. Anyway, um, <laughs> just being honest about the numbers, why lie? Uh, anyway, but nonetheless, yeah, um, I, I I think it's going to happen. I genuinely do. I I, I, I think... As you would like to call teams a Ponzi scheme, I, I, I think the Chiefs are 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 fugazi. They can't keep. Wow. It, 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 you can't have a quarterback with a negative touchdown interception ratio and be six and how much longer? You can't. Something's got to change. So if Patrick Mahomes doesn't start playing his tail off, guess what? They're going to get got somewhere. They still have a game left with the Chargers. Um, yeah, I think they got a shot here. A confident and emboldened Mark Zinno thinking the Chargers are going to make up a three-game deficit in the AFC West. Wow, that's that's, that's a good one. Uh, I like it. I like it. You know, going shooting for the moon. Um, 
I would like to say something to our viewers. A big thank you. Yesterday was the most watched yes. show in the history of the Morning Wager. Thank you for that. That was very nice yeah, of you all to tune in you guys are well on done. Monday. Yes, we are on a uh, 46 and 26. It's great that it falls in line with all the effusive praise I'm getting, so everybody knows how great I am. More people know how great I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? A 40, 46 and 27 run? I can't, is it 46 and 26 or 46 and 27? I apologize. I don't have that in front of me. I'll have the correct updated numbers tomorrow. Uh, but today is Tuesday, Mark, as you know. Mm-hmm. And there is mm-hmm. something very important be- that we need to get through before we uh, talk about our show best bet, which is going to be on t yes. Lakers. It is $5 Tuesday at wagertalk.com. Uh, that means you can get a $5 play from all of your favorite handicappers, including both Mark and myself. Mark, I will let you go a second here. Let me just get this through. My $5 play each of the last two weeks has done quite well. Two weeks ago was Iowa crushing Washington. I believe that was a 5% play for you and as well. And then I last week, I had Oklahoma State plus 10 wire-to-wire cover against BYU is my $5 play. This week's $5 play already locked and loaded. I, I loaded it last night. We are 12-2, and two, our last 14 CFB releases. Number one in college football this season, am I at wagertalk.com. So $5, wt.buzz slash BP. Now the great Mark Zinno, uh, please enlighten us all. I had to sneak your record in there, didn't you? Just couldn't let it go. Just just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't just go right past that part. Anyway, all I'll say is this. Uh, I've hit the $5 play three weeks in a row, four of the last five, including the 5% best bet. Uh, we It's in college football. I'm on a 10-1 and college football run. Some would call that good. Whoa. Not Brian Power because his is better, obviously. So there is that. But, yeah, uh, $5, wt.buzz slash mz. Uh, we're locked in on college football right now, guys. I told, I told BP yesterday, I had the entire card set. Now I just got to whittle it down to the three or four games that we're going to pick for for the weekend. But I had the entire card set by Monday, and I was very excited about it. So, uh, again, wt.buzz slash mz. Go get that $5 play. We continue to cash those. Again, three in a row, four or five. So go get it. Again, not a math major at Ohio University. But uh, let me just do this real quick. Uh, 12 and 2 from me. 10 and 1 from you. That's uh, that's twenty two and three combined. Yeah, last twenty five. I, I, I would ask, I would ask all that people. is really good. That is really what? freaking good. You talk about effusive praise. How about we both get some effusive praise, sure. sir? And I would ask everybody out there, what the hell is there a reason to watch another show other than this one? Because I don't think there is. I genuinely don't think there is. I, I, I would tell you, just come here, get all your betting information. Yeah, well, there you go. That, that's, I, I, I would, I would sort of fast forward to the next part of your day. Um, with certain shows, but just watch this one and tell your friends and make them watch it and get good information, go cash tickets and uh, stay for the fun and entertainment, which is me making fun of Brian Power. I don't like that. Uh, but I'll tell you what, um, you were on Wager Talk today, yesterday. I'm going to be on that show today. So there you go. The morning uh, wager crew all and, and over. Everything, I, this everything I gave out on Wager Talk today, Wager Talk today last night hit. Kyler Murray over rushing yards, Cardinals outright. I, I don't know what else to say about you. I, I you know, the, the superlatives are just, I, I, I run out of them. Try, quite because frankly. you lost the bet. No. Try, because you yes, lost the I bet. I did. Okay. All right. I'm not happy about it. Okay. Juan Soto, <laughs> three run homer right in front of my face. I can still see it. You know, I think that ball hit you, I thought. It did. <laughs> right in the I heart. I have a picture. I have a picture of you. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, I did. We'll, we'll, we will try to get a picture on the show of that uh, of post home run of my reaction. Um, <laughs> Cleveland, Cleveland's finest was uh, happy enough to pose with me. No, I did not get in any trouble. It was, it was all good fun. All right, okay. let's talk about the show best bet. T Wolves playing the Lakers. T Wolves, they were really good last year, Mark. They have no Carl Anthony Towns. You talked about him being on the Knicks now. Yes, but. W- the T Wolves, we think they should be favored more uh, in this spot. They're minus one now. Oh. The market has moved. You look at the Wager Talk on screen; they've gone from plus one to minus one. The T Wolves, we agree with the slide move. We're playing T Wolves money line here as our show best bet. You look uh, puzzled right now. I, yeah, I no, I mean, just, up okay. I, I, well, because again, the the line flip is kind of happening right in front of our very eyes as we're doing the show, um, which is always interesting. But it, it's one of those things where. It's so hard to figure out what teams are this early in the season, right? I think that's mm-hmm. a, a fair assessment. But 
I would ask you, like, I know the Minnesota Timberwolves look different. Obviously, they still have Anthony Edwards. Now they have Julius Randle. They have Dante DiVincenzo. They have all this extra shooting and, and everything else. They're a different team. Um, but what did the Lakers do to get markedly better? Because if you were to put this game last year in L.A., put it in, p- pick a month, put it in late February, Minnesota's a four-point favorite, right? Go back mm-hmm. to December, Minnesota's still a three-point favorite. I mean, you know, the only reason this number is this close is because the game is in L.A. and it's LeBron James and the public will run to bet LeBron at home because, oh, yeah, Bronny is there too as well. You know, like it, it, the odds. <laughs> that is his real name. We don't need to do air quotes on that. It, that is his real name. It's not like he's a a person just, you know, pretending to be Bronny. His, his name is Bronny James. Laser. That's also, you know, anyway, uh, I understand that's his real name. I was just, you know, <laughs> the whole phrase was being quoted. Oh, Bronny. Oh, Bronny. Not that it was, you know. Anyway, why are you interrupting me? Go take a lap. Well, let me finish up here. So, <laughs> felt like it. Anyway, the public will back the Lakers here in this spot at home in the home opener, believing that they're going to win, but they're not the better team. Um, and this line is way short. Ooh. You know, uh, if, if, you, if you're into power rankings and everything else and you were going to install a line on this thing, I would make it three and a half or four in favor of, of the T Wolves. So we're going to take the T-Wolves here on the money line. They'll get out of this game one with a win, and uh, we'll get out of here cashing our first NBA ticket of the season. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just a few trends here if you're into this kind of thing. LeBron, the Lakers have lost seven straight season openers, including 0-6 straight up in ATS with LeBron. LeBron, as an underdog, in season openers in his entire career, including his time here in Cleveland. Thank you, LeBron, for winning us our only championship in the last 70 years. Uh, but James, as, a, as an underdog in season openers, 0-7 straight up, 2-5 and 5 ATS. So there you That's go. That's not good. Minnesota. Minnesota. Show best bet. T-Wolves. Minnesota. T-Wolves. Smash that Man. like button if you agree. Comment down below with your favorite bets. Comment down below with how much you like the show. Subscribe also, if you have not already done that. Comment down below if Brian Power has not heaped enough effusive praise on me, because I don't think that's really the case. Yeah, take your effusive praise. I know. I guess I, I, I did lose the bet. You're effused. You're, you're a fine person. What do you want me to say? This is kind of coming a little low here. I love there we go. Oh. <laughs> There we go. I don't know what you're talking about. That's really weird. Bro. No. Okay. Oh. I'm learning things about the production industry right now. Yes. All right, guys, thanks. Let's cast some tickets. See you Wednesday. Always come.